One of the main reasons why people give up on their fitness journey is because they are not seeing the results they want quick enough. Rather than giving up altogether, it's important to take a step back and reassess where you could be improving to see further results. And let me just start off by saying, no, you are not too old. No, you're not genetically cursed. And no, it's not your hormones. And no, your metabolism is not broken. There are a few hidden mistakes that I see a lot of people making and I used to make myself that prevent you from seeing your hard work. The first mistake is that you are underestimating how much you are really eating, which means you are overeating your calories. And this comes down to the fact that you are not tracking or logging everything that you eat. So let's say you are making eggs in the morning and you completely forgot, forgot to log the oil that you put in the pan. That could be added up to 90 calories into your day without you even knowing it and then if you add some ketchup on with those eggs that's another additional about 50 60 calories and if that if that keeps on continuing you are going to put yourself out of that calorie deficit that you're trying to remain in tell me in the comments below how many calories you think two pieces of toast with avocado and a drizzle of olive oil is a lot of people will say about 300 350 calories but in reality it is about 620 calories so you see the difference in perceived versus the actual calories in your meals it is what is keeping your progress at a plateau that's why weighing and measuring everything with a food scale is essential especially if you are brand new to your fitness journey the next mistake is that you are overestimating the amount of calories you burn and in addition to that, you are eating back those calories that you have lost. You'll find that you are a lot hungrier after an intense workout, which will lead you to want to eat more to make up for the calories that you have burned. But what multiple papers have found that especially after a cardio session, a lot of people eat back the calories that they have burnt and even more. And that is probably why you are not seeing the results you're after. To make matters worse, a lot of people tend to overestimate the amount of calories that they burn by 70%. In addition to that, any cardio-based machines that you are tracking your calories burnt from overestimate how many calories you burn by up to 25%. What you want to do is just stick to a set calorie intake for the day, keep your cardio, keep your resistance training the same, and then check in with yourself, look at your weight, look at your body measurements, see your progress photos, and then make slight adjustments to potentially your calories, your cardio, your overall workout program from there. The third hidden mistake you are making is not knowing that you're actually undergoing body recomposition, especially if you are just coming back to training, you are new to resistance training, you're taking your nutrition seriously now, these are signs that you are building more muscle and losing fat at the same rate because you are looking at the scale as your primary measure of success and not taking into account your progress photos or any body measurements. You also want to take note of any strength gains you are experiencing when you are resistance training. If you are getting stronger, you are sleeping better, you know, you feel more toned, more defined, but the scale weight is staying the same that's completely okay you are losing fat and gaining muscle around the same weight and i know this can be so confusing and i want you to let me know what questions or what comments you have in the comments down below if you have more specific questions about your specific situation feel free to send me the dm on instagram and we can definitely chat it out that's it for me guys make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you next time. Bye.